हेलो एवरीवन सो वी आर कंटिन्यूइंग टू सॉल्व द सी बी एस सी टेंथ ग्रेड मैथ बोर्ड पेपर्स एंड इन कंटिन्यूएशन टू सॉल्व फॉर द ईयर 2017 दिस इज सेट टू एंड वी हैव ऑलरेडी फिनिश्ड सॉल्विंग सेक्शन ए सेक्शन बी एंड सेक्शन सी इन आर प्रीवियस वीडियोस एंड नाउ लेट्स मूव टू सेक्शन D it has 11 questions 4 marks each question number 21st in this question we are given the coordinates of three points a k plus 1 2k and b 3k 2k plus 3 and c as 5k minus 1 5k and these three points are collinear and we have to find the value of k so we know if the th three points are collinear we have area of triangle is equal to 0 so let's write down the formula for area of the triangle is equal to half into x1 into y2 minus y3 plus x2 into y3 minus y1 plus x3 into y1 minus y2 x1 as k plus 1 y1 as 2k x2 is equal to 3k and y2 is equal to 2k plus 3 x3 is equal to 5k minus 1 and y3 is equal to 5k let's substitute the values so we have half into k plus 1 into 2k plus 3 minus 5k plus 3k into 5k minus 2k plus 5k minus 1 into 2k minus 2k minus 3 is equal to 0 now half goes that side and it also becomes 0 k plus 1 into 3 minus 3k plus 3k into 3k plus 5k minus 1 this this gets cancelled minus 3 is equal to 0 3k minus 3k square plus 3 minus 3k Plus 9k square minus 15k plus 3 is equal to 0. 6k square and this this gets cancelled. So minus 15k plus 6 is equal to 0. So we have a common factor 3. So 2k square minus 5k plus 2 is equal to 0. We have to factorize this equation and we have to find two numbers such that. Sum is minus five and product is plus four. So we have two k square minus four k minus one k plus two is equal to zero. So two k is common. K minus two minus one is common. K minus two is equal to zero. Two k minus one into k minus two is equal to zero. Therefore, k is equal to half or two. This is the answer. Question number twenty second. In this question, we have two dice which are thrown together. Then total outcome will be equal to thirty six. The formula for probability of an event is number of favorable outcomes by total outcomes. first part even sum the sum of the numbers should be even favorable outcomes will be 1 and 1 1 and 3 then we have 1 and 5 2 and 2 then 2 and 4 2 and 6 then 3 and 1 Three and three, then three and five, four and two, then four and four, 
फोर एंड सिक्स दैन फाइव एंड वन एंड फाइव एंड थ्री फाइव एंड फाइव सिक्स एंड टू सिक्स एंड फोर एंड सिक्स एंड सिक्स नंबर ऑफ फेवरेबल आउटकम्स आर एटीन देर फॉर प्रोबिलिटी ऑफ दिस इवेंट इज इक्वल टू एटीन बाय टोटल आउटकम्स इज थर्टी सिक्स सो दिस इज वन बाय टू सो सेकेंड पार्ट इट शुड हैव इवन प्रोडक्ट outcomes would be one and two one and four one and six then two and one two two and two three two four two five two six then with three three and two three and four Three and six, four and one, four and two, four and three, four and four, four and five, four and six. Then with five, five and two, five and four, five and six. Then we have six and one, six and two, six three, six four, six. Five and six, six. So number of favorable outcomes here are twenty-seven outcomes. So therefore, probability of this event will be equal to twenty-seven by total outcomes are thirty-six. So we know nine three times and nine four times. So three by four is the answer. Question number twenty-third. This is a question on construction, and first we have to construct a triangle ABC such that BC is equal to seven centimeter, and angle B is forty-five degree, and angle A is hundred and five degree. Angle C would be equal to one eighty degree minus hundred and five plus forty-five degree. So this is equal to one eighty degree minus one fifty degree. So this is equal to thirty degree. So this is thirty. And we have to draw another triangle, which will be three fourth of this triangle. Let's start constructing BC seven centimeters, and we have to draw a forty five degree angle at B. We have the arc. 60 degree and we have a 90 degree here this is 45 degree angle now we have to make a 30 degree angle at c so this one arc and this is 60 degree this is 30 degree 45 degree and 30 degree here so we have got the triangle abc now we have to Make a similar triangle. For that, from B, I will make a line B Z at any angle. Now we'll make the arcs from B A one, and from A one we get A two. From A two we have A three and A four. So from B we have made. Four arcs at equal distances. Let's join A4 and C. I'll measure this angle at A4, and the same angle I'm going to draw at A3. Two meet BC at C dash. Now at C dash, I'm going to make 30 degree angle, which is same as C. We get the point. A dash, A dash, B C dash is the required triangle. The steps of construction. First step, draw B C of 
7 cm. Second, construct angle 45 degree at P and angle 30 degree at C. Triangle ABC is constructed. From B, draw a line BZ at any angle on opposite side of A. Fifth, from B draw four equal arcs on BZ A1 A2 A3 A4 Join A4 to C. Draw angle equal to angle B A4 C at A3 to meet B C at C dash. At C dash construct angle 30 degree to meet a b at a dash a dash b c dash is the required triangle now prove triangle a dash b c dash is three fourth of triangle a b c Triangle A dash B C dash is similar to triangle A B C as angle B is equal to angle B common and angle C dash is equal to angle C by construction. Therefore, A dash B by AB is equal to A dash C dash by AC is equal to B C dash by BC is equal to 3 by 4. Hence proof. Question number 24. In this question, we have a rainwater harvesting system, and from the roof, the water drains into the cylindrical tank so the roof is in the form of cuboid the water fills into the cylindrical tank the dimensions of the roof are 22 meter into 20 meter and cylindrical tank has diameter of basis 2 meter so radius is equal to 1 meter and height is 3.5 meter and we have to find the rainfall in centimeter so that will be the height of the water on the roof so now we can say that volume of cuboid here will be equal to volume of cylinder volume of cuboid is L into B into H and volume of cylinder is pi R square H this is 22 meter and 20 meter and height we have to find out pi we can take 22 by 7 and radius is 1 into 1 and height is 3.5 meter this is 0 0.5 so height is equal to 22 into 0 0.5 divided by 22 into 20 22 and 22 gets cancelled and we can change this into centimeters so we'll multiply so height is equal to this and this gets cancelled on this with this so we have 5 by 2 or 
centimeter so answer to rainfall is 2.5 centimeter 25th question in this question we have to prove the lengths of the tangents drawn from an external point to a circle are equal let's see this is the circle with center o and this be the external point and these are the two tangents drawn so let this point be r this be p this be q and center is o we can join or and we can draw center to the point of contact this is equal to 90 degree we know given a circle with center o and tangents pr and qr drawn from external point r we have construction here join or and perpendiculars op and oq to prove pr is equal to qr and in triangles opr and oqr so we have to write down the statements and we have to write down the reasons so we have OP is equal to OQ, both are radii of same circle, angle OPR is equal to angle OQR is equal to 90 degree perpendicular from center to tangent. A, OR is equal to OR so that is common triangle OPR is congruent to triangle OQR by RHS property therefore PR is equal to QR by CPCT so hence proved 26th question in this question we have a circle and we have two parallel tangents x y and we have x dash and y dash this is the diameter pq center o and we have another tangent which is touching the circle at c and this tangent is intersecting x y at a and x dash y dash at p join this point so this will be 90 degree this will be 90 degree and this angle will be 90 degree and we have given these lines oa and ob and we have to prove angle a o b is equal to 90 degree we are given here x y is parallel to x dash y dash and we are also given a circle with center o and radius r and we need to prove here angle a o b is equal to 90 degree now proof in triangle p o a and triangle COA we have angle OPA is equal to angle OCA and both are equal to 90 degree because line joining the center to the point of contact of tangent is perpendicular to the tangent 
first point second point oa is equal to oa common side third point op is equal to oc because both are radii of the same circle therefore i can say that triangle poa is congruent to triangle coa by rhs property of congruency therefore angle poa is equal to angle coa by cpct similarly for the other two triangles we can say angle qob is equal to angle cob as poq is a straight line we can say that angle poa plus angle coa plus angle qob plus angle cob is equal to 180 degree from fifth and sixth point we can say these two angles are equal and these two angles are equal so i can say twice angle coa plus twice angle cob is equal to 180 degree so twice of angle coa plus angle cob is equal to 180 degree angle coa plus angle cob is equal to 180 degree by 2 so this is equal to 90 degree and we know angle coa and cob is equal to angle aob is equal to 90 degree hence proved question number 27th in this question we are given the issue of sum of two ap's is 7n plus 1 by 4n plus 27 so we know sum of n terms is equal to n by 2 twice a plus n minus 1 into d so let's take sum of n terms of first ap by sum of n terms of second ap is equal to n is same in both the cases and 2a for first ap n minus 1 into common difference of first ap divided by n by 2 And twice a two plus n minus one into d two. This is given as seven n plus one divided by four n plus twenty seven. Take one by two inside. So this would be equal to n into twice a one plus n minus one into d one divided by two. By n into twice a two plus n minus one into d two divided by two is equal to seven n plus one divided by four n plus twenty seven. And then gets cancelled here. A one plus half into n minus one into d one. Divided by a two plus half into n minus one into d two. Is equal to seven n plus one divided by four n plus twenty seven. Let this be first equation. We know a n is equal to a plus n minus one into D. Therefore, ratio of their ninth terms would be equal to a one plus eight d one divided by a two plus eight d two. This be second equation. Therefore, on comparing 
first and second equation we have half into n minus 1 is equal to 8 so n minus 1 is equal to 16 n is equal to 17 now substituting n value in ratio of sums 7 n plus 1 divided by 4 n plus 27 will be equal to 7 into 17 plus 1 divided by 4 into 17 plus 27 this is equal to 119 plus 1 and 68 plus 27 so this is equal to 120 divided by 95 19 5 times and 5 24 times is equal to 24 by 19 so answer the ratio of the ninth terms is 24 is to 19 question number 28 in this question we have to solve for x and we are given 1 by 2x minus 3 plus 1 by x minus 5 is equal to 1 1 by 9 LCM x minus 5 into 2x minus 3 and the numerator x minus 5 plus 2x minus 3 is equal to 10 by 9 cross multiplying we have 9 into 3x minus 8 is equal to 10 into x minus 5 into 2x minus 3 27x minus 72 is equal to 10 into 2x square minus 3x minus 10x plus 15 27x minus 72 is equal to 20x square minus 13 into 10 so minus 130x plus 150 now taking everything on the right hand side we have 20x square minus 157x and plus 2 2 and 2 is equal to 0 we have to factorize this equation sum is equal to minus 157 and product is equal to 222 into 20 4440 let's find out the factors for this first so 4440 and 2 so 2220 then 2 again 1110 then again 2 we have 555 five, five, and then we can have a factor 3 because sum is 15 so we have 1 and 8 and 5 5 as the factor so 37 so 2 2 2 into 20 then we can check for 37 and 120 okay yeah, that's perfect so 120 and 37 are the factors so 20 x square minus 120x minus 37x plus 222 is equal to 0 so 20x is common here x minus 6 and minus 37 is common so x minus 6 is equal to 0 so x minus 6 and 20x minus 37 are the factors so x is equal to 6 or 37 by 20 and so 29th question in this question we have a train traveling for the distance of 300 kilometer with uniform speed and if the speed is increased by 5 km per hour, it will take 2 hours less in the journey. And we have to find the original speed of the train. Let the original speed be x km per hour. That 
air for increased speed will be equal to x plus 5 kilometer per hour and we are given time taken by original speed minus time taken by the increased speed is equal to 2 hours we know speed is equal to distance by time or we can say time is equal to distance by speed now let's substitute so original distance is 300 and original speed is x minus distance is same again and speed is increased by 5 this is equal to 2 i can take 300 common and here i can take lcm as x into x plus 5 this is equal to x plus 5 minus x is equal to 2 300 and x and x gets cancelled into 5 is equal to 2x into x plus 5 2 common so this would become 150 into 5 is equal to x square plus 5x x square plus 5x minus 750 is equal to 0 now we have to solve this equation for that we need to find out two numbers whose sum is equal to 5 and product is equal to minus 750. So we can just start factorizing from 75 into 10 and uh, then I think 25 into 30 that would work for us. So x square plus 30x minus 25x minus 750 is equal to 0. So x, so x plus 30 minus 25 common x plus 30 is equal to 0 so we have factors as x plus 30 and x minus 25 is equal to 0 therefore x is equal to minus 30 or 25 as the speed cannot be negative here Therefore, x is equal to 25. Answer original speed is 25 kilometer per hour. 30th question. In this question, we have a man on the top of the tower observes a car which moves towards the tower with a uniform speed the angle of depression changes from 30 degree to 45 degree this angle is 30 degree and this angle is 45 degree so this angle would also be 30 degree and this angle would also be equal to 45 degree as angle of depression is equal to angle of elevation and this change takes place with time of 12 minutes and we have to find the time taken to reach the tower let this be a b and this be c and this be d we know speed is equal to distance by time so distance is equal to speed into time so this distance would be speed into tr and this will be equal to speed into 12 tan 45 degree is equal to ab by ac tan 45 degree is 1 so this is equal to ab by speed into time taken therefore ab is equal to speed into time taken to reach the tower and now we know tan 30 degree is equal to ab by speed into time this distance plus 12 s tan 30 degree is 1 by root 3 is equal to ab by str plus 12 s ab is equal to 
एस टी आर प्लस ट्वेल्व एस डिवाइडेड बाई रूट थ्री सो दिस इज ए बी फर्स्ट इक्वेशन फॉर ए बी सेकेंड इक्वेशन नाउ इक्वेटिंग वन एंड टू ए बी इज एस इंटू टी आर इज इक्वल टू एस इंटू टी आर प्लस ट्वेल्व एस डिवाइडेड बाई रूट थ्री एस इंटू टी आर इंटू रूट थ्री इज इक्वल टू एस आई कैन टेक कॉमन टी आर प्लस ट्वेल्व एस एस गेट्स कैंसल्ड सो रूट थ्री टी आर माइनस टी आर इज इक्वल टू ट्वेल्व टी आर इज कॉमन रूट थ्री माइनस वन इज इक्वल टू ट्वेल्व टाइम टेकन टू रीच द टावर विल बी ट्वेल्व बाय रूट थ्री माइनस वन rationalizing the denominator we have root 3 plus 1 divided by root 3 plus 1 so we get 12 into root 3 plus 1 divided by 3 minus 1 this is equal to 12 into root 3 1.732 plus 1 divided by 2 six times so we get 6 into 2.732 So this is equal to six two times twelve eighteen nineteen one forty two forty three four twelve and four sixteen minutes. We can change into sixteen minutes and zero point three nine two into sixty seconds. This is equal to sixteen minutes and six two times twelve twenty three. Point five two seconds. Answer: Time taken by the car now to reach the tower is sixteen minutes twenty three point five two seconds. Question number thirty first. In this question, we are given the semicircle on BC, and we have a triangle ABC. This is ninety degree. We have semicircles on AB and AC. This is three centimeter, and this is four centimeter. and we have sheeted parts we have to find the area of sheeted region so for that we will have to find the area of triangle plus area of semicircle on ab plus area of semicircle on ac and we have to subtract the area of semicircle on bc write down the formula area of triangle is half into base into height plus area of semicircle on ab is pi r1 square by 2 plus pi r2 square by 2 minus pi r square let's take this to let's take this as 3 and by 2 so already that triangle is right angle triangle so we know half into 3 into 4 plus by i can take common for all and 2 also i can take common diameter is 3 so 3 by 2 whole square plus 4 by 2 whole square minus now we have to find bc also so bc will be equal to according to pythagoras theorem square root of 3 square plus 4 square so this is equal to 9 plus 16 so 25 so bc is equal to 5 cm 
and we know 3, 4, 5 are Pythagorean triplets also. So minus 5 by 2 whole square this 2 and 2 so 6 plus 22 by 14 and here we have 9 by 4 plus 16 by 4 minus 25 by 4 is equal to 6 plus 22 by 14 and here this would be 25 by 4 minus 25 by 4 so this becomes 0 so 6 plus 22 to 14 into 0 so this would be equal to 6 centimeter square so answer area of shaded region is equal to 6 centimeter square with this we have finished the sections from next video we are going to start uh, set three so stay tuned and see you all